All right, what's going on guys, Sensei Lewis again. This is uh, one of the second techniques that we did that involves you being able to be active in your response, fluid and active in your response. Meaning you gotta learn how to flow with it, right? You don't wanna be rigid, you don't wanna be one, two, three, four, right? You wanna learn how to and flow with it because that's how an attack is going to be. It's gonna be continuous and constant motion, right? As they say, the object that stays that is in motion stays in motion until something stops it redirects the energy etc so you got to be the same way in your defensive response so we did another one where a person is stepping in with a hook punch right and there's a particular block that we're doing but i'm telling him as you block it you don't want to be rigid with the block so it looks like this person throws a hook punch you're blocking it right but i told him in this one we don't want to just block rigid and stop because this is energy coming we need to take this energy you can hold you know do it a hard rigid block and then move from here but with our wind with, with that way of the winds way it wants to flow with it so now he's open here then i can step in and counter right what's up okay so again he throws the hook that's the block but you don't want to just block rigid you want to flow with it like so so as he swings i'm blocking and redirecting so now he's open here then i can and come in and counter again see that that's how you want to block it one more time, block inside and flow, rather than this, <sighs> right? That's good, I'm not saying that doesn't work. It can work, but for the purpose of what we want, I wanna be able to block and move. See how now he's exposed, now when I move it, boom, I can now catch him from there. So again, you don't wanna be here, hard and rigid with this tape, you wanna flow with it. Block, flow, see, now he's open. And as I flow past it, then I can step in. I step in and follow. So again, you, don't, you wanna break out of the one, two, three, four type of step. That's good when you're learning it. But once you get it and you understand it, you need to take that and now make it fluid and let it flow, right? It has to be fluid and flowing because it's a constant attack motion. So your defense and your response has to be similar. So one more time, you don't wanna do this. You wanna do this. See that? See how I block and I quickly can counter him. One more time. And counter. Right? And flow with it. That's how you want to be. That makes the difference, a big difference in your combat. So if you feel like you're a new student in any martial art, and you feel that you're not quite getting it, right? Learn to take that advice and learn how to flow. Flow with your blocks. Flow and strike. As opposed to hit one, two, right? Learn how to block and shoot. Right? Be fluid with it. Okay, guys, appreciate it. These are new videos for the new year. Don't forget, like, follow, subscribe. We're out.